Some of my favorite videos on this channel are when I tell the story of an artwork and then link it to the personal experience of the artist. To me, not only does it convey the depth of the emotions behind the artwork, but it gives it a power. It gives it a humanity beyond the story it depicts. And I found such experience in a painter who I wouldn't have imagined would paint his own experience. We're going to look into William Adolphe Bougreau, a fantastic academic painter with incredible talent. Many of you, if you already know Bougreau, will know him for his incredible nudes or his painting of Dante and Virgil. He made a lot of portraits as well, but the painting I want to talk about in this video is a religious painting. Don't be disappointed, however, because I think this religious painting is one of the most evocative and heartbreaking painting Bougreau ever made. Would you like to appear in the credits at the end of each of these videos? For a dollar or more per month, or 25 cents per video, you can support me on Patreon and be part of the amazing people who help me make this my full-time job. Thank you so much for considering it. It helps out a lot. Le Premier Deuil, or The First Morning, was made in 1888, while Bougreau had already attained international fame and recognition. This painting was bought by the Argentine collector Francisco Uriburu, which explains why it's now located in Buenos Aires. By the time he made First Morning, he had already made Dante and Virgil, Pieta, and The Birth of Venus, all of which are more extravagant and eye-catching than First Morning. But Bougreau didn't intend it to be eye-catching. This painting, though it's quite simple, still requires attention to truly appreciate it. Firstly, it depicts the first ever human death, according to the Bible. The first man to die was Abel, the son of Adam and Eve, and he was murdered by his brother Cain. The instinctive way to depict the scene is by showing the murder, showing Cain killing Abel, and that's what's been done all throughout art history. But Bougreau depicted the aftermath, the consequences of murder on the victim's close ones. He certainly wasn't the only one to do it, but his painting of the first morning is absolutely heartbreaking. The composition is extremely simple. There are only three subjects in an almost featureless, dark, and gloomy setting. You see the classic pyramid borrowed from the Renaissance. Your eye is being led from Adam to Eve weeping, and finally, to the dead body of their son, Abel. Though this is reminiscent of Pieta, the corpse, strangely, isn't being held or supported. It's lifelessly dangling. Despite there not being any wounds, we can tell this is a dead corpse by the way gravity is the only force being exerted on it. There's also the puddle of blood forming right under the body's head. The couple is devastated. Adam holds his heart in shock as he tries to comfort Eve who buried into his chest, hides her face, crying. But don't be fooled by this painting's simplicity. Its content is extremely complex and nuanced. Mainly, the question to ask here is, why is Abel's body neglected? You'd imagine, when depicting parental grief, that you'd want both parents to focus on their dead child, to both look at him, cradle him, as exemplified by Pieta. But he's neglected, hanging, almost falling off his dad's knees. Of course, grief is lived differently by different people, and certain people in certain situations may live grief more intensely than others. The situation of losing a child is particularly heartbreaking, as parents generally expect to see their children grow and outlive them. Seeing that being interrupted must be extremely shattering. 
Here you have two parents having to deal with these overwhelming emotions, having to support one another, and while navigating all of it, they forget their child's corpse laying on their lap. Eve is crying. She can't bear to see her son's dead body. Adam, heartbroken, not only needs to deal with the death of his son, but also needs to reconcile his wife. Bougreau displays an incredible sensibility, not only in the choice of the topic, the first mourning parents, but also in the way he depicts it. He paints the pain that comes after the death of a child, a pain he knew much too well. Bougreau had five children, four of which died before him. His first wife and his second son both died before he made this painting. Knowing this, this painting gains tremendous power. Bougreau didn't simply paint a scene of the Bible. He painted it, we can assume, while identifying to one of its characters. That's why he, instead of painting Cain killing Abel, showed his parents mourning his death. He didn't only repeat a biblical scene with his own style. He depicted the scene and infused it with his own experience, his own feelings about losing a child. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you, Axel, Mike Wex, Roman Brandel, X Towns, Jonathan, and all my other patrons for supporting the channel. If you also want to help out, leave a like, subscribe, and check out patreon.com forward slash the canvas. Thank you.